Rob, did, would you say that um, maybe you were a bit out patient in the first half? Keep starts like that. Yeah, we had we got off to a slow start. Um, I don't know if it was our passion, but you know we just made too many mistakes. So, you know, soft tries, you know, which, uh, you know, which got them that lead. I mean, obviously, I felt that we were dominant, you know, after the slow start and this, going into the change room, and then obviously the second half, uh, again, you know, we were all over them. But again, another soft try, which, you know, just uh, kept them, uh, you know, ahead of us all the time. So, yeah, just um, too many mistakes. You guys seem to be threatening to seize the momentum um, in the second half. Yeah. The try, and then suddenly that McCorsey yeah. soft one seemed to kind of it was almost yeah. No, look, I, like I said, you know, I felt that we were working nicely back into the game, and uh, just soft moments just hurt us, you know. I mean, that's a. It's not, an, uh, it's not a fancy move that they scored, you know, with Nkosi. That's a straight one on one tackle that was missed, to be honest. There was nothing fancy about what they did. Um, I'm just really disappointed in our performance. You know, we we had our chances, but we just uh, you know kept on making mistakes. Robbie, do you feel like your team had one eye on the international break? No, definitely not. Flecky, the the Sharks still had quite a lot to play for in terms of log points. You guys probably didn't have log points really. I mean, you you won your conference, but what? What was important to you guys in this game? I mean, no, Mark, uh, it was important that we won this game. You know, we've just come off a tough tour and uh, you know, then a good win against the Blues. You know, for us, it was important to win. It's got nothing to do about uh, you know the log points or anything like that. Um, you know, we haven't qualified yet. There's still three games to go. You know, so um, you know we're not thinking about what the Bulls or the Cheetahs are doing. You know, it's about us and improving every week, and we didn't do that today. So. Uh, like I said, you know, there were patches that were good, um, but we let ourselves down with our execution. Our decision making was poor at times. You know, there were so many opportunities out there for us, you know, that we could have converted on, and we didn't. You know, and you know, it's, last week it went our way, but uh, you know, this week, um, you know, we are not we're not proud of the performance, to be honest. At the same, at the same time, though, the Sharks' defence was. Yeah, I, 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 again, I felt that, you know, we had them under the pump, you know, at times, you know, they were scrambling and they did. I guess that's where probably the passion was, if you speak about that, you know, that scrambling passion, you know, that when we got line breaks, they worked incredibly hard back, you know, to reset their line. When we were close on their line, you know, they defended well. So I think we were pretty stupid, you know, we, we could have, again, you know, we took wrong options when we were threatening on their line, you know. So it's um, again, you know, it's something that we'll work on. And uh, but um, yeah, they defended well. I mean, but uh, I, I also felt that um, you know we really had spread them and had them in in sixes and sevens. But uh, again, just poor decision making, poor option taking, you know, and execution obviously let us down. So it's uh, yeah. See, do you think your your game against the Lions kept on was a turning point? No, I think I think we were good last week. It's just this week we weren't as good as we wanted to be. So this has nothing to do with what happened against the Lions. It's just on the day they just played a, a, a better than us and they made better decisions than us. We made all this all the bad decisions. We didn't keep the ball. We lost the ball when we were supposed to score. So yeah, and I think yeah they wanted a bit more in the first half than us. So yeah, I think we should have held the ball a bit more and actually taking the opportunities that were there in front of us. I think that's been our problem the whole season. All our games that we've lost, that's all been the same thing. Losing the ball where you're supposed to score, or getting to the 22 and then losing the ball. Do you feel that games like these are still an early curve for a young team? Even if you're talented, it's almost like... Yeah, but it is... I mean, we can't do the same thing and keep on saying we're learning. Obviously, we want to make this thing right. We can't be learning every week. We've got to actually make sure that we take our opportunities when they're there because we're going to get to the playoffs and we're going to keep on saying we're learning. It's, I think it's today was absolutely, it, we should have t taken the opportunities. It was there in front of us and we can't, I mean, it would have been a good way to finish the break knowing that we've learned a lot, you know, you can't keep on saying everything we're learning, but we'll keep on working hard and come after the break and we, we have to make sure we take opportunities when they're there because they're not going to come all the time. Uh, the Sharks put a lot of pressure on you guys uh, at the line-out time. 
No, well, not a turning point. It definitely it was a factor. Um, I thought their contesting was excellent, and uh, their own lineup was excellent. Our lineup was poor today, and it's usually a strength of ours. So, yeah. is talking on the lineup is that something that uh, Alistair could say to be worrying about in the preseason? Alistair. Yeah, the lineup. No. The fact that uh, if you know, the Stormers lineup didn't function. Yet. No, no, it's just the fact that Stormers lineup didn't function. It's good thing. Sorry, I, I, there's nothing to do with Alistair and if it's going to affect him. We weren't good. The Stormers weren't good.